Well, the rise of AI has helped spur a chip revolution. We've been talking about it a lot today, led by NVIDIA, uh, and at least partly funded by the government, which has been and will continue to hand out billions as part of the CHIPS Act designed to boost the U.S. semiconductor industry. Megan Casella joins us now with a look at how much that free money is costing companies. A lot of lobbying involved here, Megan. There sure is. So where there is federal money to be had, there will be lobbying, right? We've seen a sharp increase in lobbying spending as companies have competed for these awards over the past couple of years. So take a look at Intel first. They're on track to get the first multi-billion dollar award set for tomorrow. They spent around $8 million on lobbying in the two years just before the CHIPS Act was passed. But as CHIPS was being negotiated and then implemented in the two years after that, they spent nearly $14 million. So we've seen an 80% jump there. Also in line for a big award, we've got Samsung. Their lobbying has been up more than 70% in the same period. And we've seen this really across the board with a bunch of these companies. Now, these figures are total spend, but their lobbying disclosure forms do show us that CHIPS Act funding and implementation has been a top issue. Now, guys, we are expecting Intel to get roughly $10 billion in grants and loans tomorrow. That doesn't leave too much on the table for the other companies. That's partly why we're starting to hear Gina Raimondo and others talking about a CHIPS Act round two. So it's a lot of money, but it's you, you were mentioning as we went to break, the return on investment could be pretty good here. You get $10 billion for spending $8 million. Absolutely. Or whatever it was. You spend an extra $6 million and you win $10 billion. It seems like that's going to be worth it. I mean, there are strings attached to a lot of this money. There are other things, that, other hurdles that companies have to roll through. But they've clearly uh, made the gamble that this is going to be worth it for them. No money is free. <laughs> right. No free lunch. No free lunch, exactly. Uh, for the future now, now that... Uh, uh, a lot of this is being implemented. Do you expect to see a big drop off in spending on, on lobbying? Or do you think as it gets implemented, uh, the spending will continue as they look to push for, for more and more? And That's going to be the interesting thing to watch, because like I mentioned, we don't know that this is the only thing that they've been spending on. A company like Intel lobbies on all sorts of issues. But we have reason to expect it should drop off. You know, maybe they'll save some money as they then start spending on building a new manufacturing plan and finding new suppliers in the U.S. and that sort of thing. So this is one step that they had to get through. But we expect that it should drop off based on this trend, right, as they, uh, they've now successfully won their award. Yeah, certainly seems like it's paid off. Megan, thanks for being here in person, yeah. nonetheless. Yeah, nice to have you in the big house.